Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in the side of the Christ, the side of the Messiah, the side of Nazareth. If you want to know why, I call God the higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Isaiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth. All over in the diaspora, all over in Africa. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming king, Yashiah the Christ. And to the beautiful body of Christ and the church. Whom our great king is coming back for without spot, wrinkle or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yashiah the Christ. All right. You can skip this bit and find the main message, all right? I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border in a white round circle with a tick inside that circle. Anybody that's pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. And sometimes we do something called the top 20 where I call our brothers and sisters' name. All right. Okay, thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for using the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for blessing me through PayPal. And thank you for blessing me on this platform as well. Ahaya, eternally bless you and your family. Glory be to the most high. Amen. All right. Um... I was thinking about something, right? We are near, we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist, the lawless one. He's coming back, brothers and sisters. Daniel 7 verse 25 tells you Satan through the Antichrist will change time, laws, and season. Some people think that we're in that dispensation. We're not here yet. <laughs> Listen, if you think that this world is lawless, you need to read, well, you don't need to say it. This is a law. Yes, some lawlessness is going on, but the glory of the Lord, the Holy Spirit is still here. And if the Holy Spirit is here, he will be rebuking. So lawlessness cannot be in full swing. When something is lawless, there's no rebuke, like absolutely no rebuke. So we're not there yet until the Antichrist gets full reign, becomes a one world leader of the world. That's when the lawlessness will start. Um we have a prophetic um so yes yeah, sorry uh right so the things coming up on this earth Yesiah says pray to be found worthy i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 there's two women in revelation 12 the revelation 12 woman which is a righteous holy church and the revelation 17 woman which is an apostate wicked church on its way to hell um the woman the woman in revelation 12 represents the 12 hebrew yeshanelites scattered to the four corners of the earth 12 stars around the woman's head that's what it represents um that's been scattered and mistreated misused in the transatlantic slavery the most high a higher by his mighty hand glory be to the most high you need to read isaiah chapter 11 jeremiah chapter 30 jeremiah 51 jeremiah 50 it tells you right jeremiah 16 as well by his mighty hand amen he's going to regather the remnant of jacob and that is the 12th hebrew scattered tribe all over the world it's called the great worldwide second exodus the first exodus was with moses when um the ancient hebrew israelite was in slavery and a higher freedom the same thing is going to happen um a high is going to bring us where we belong and the 12 scattered tribes so second exodus is coming up you have to pray to be found where the brothers and sisters all right we have a prophetic theme song and before i say the prophetic theme song um so the first exodus and then the sixth seal open that is when Yesiah comes so if you're thinking that Yesiah is coming any day any minute now not true Second Exodus needs to happen first, all right? You might say, oh, Sister Karen, but this, the regathering of the highest people was in 1948. That's when they sent the Israel, Israel down there. I don't know who those people are, but all I know is not the true Hebrew Yeshaelites. All right, with a prophetic theme song. Call We Are Near. It's a song that my mommy taught me when I was a little girl. She said, sweeties and toys. When we're near to the stuff, she's a singer song, How Near You Are. And the song goes like this. How oh, now you are, oh now you are, oh now you are, oh now, oh now you are, oh now 
you are, oh now you are, oh now. Hallelujah. Yes, we are in there. We can sing that song with right confident remember i have two ministries one for the end time prophetic and one for the hebrew racial so this is a prophetic ministry so prophetic video so brothers and sisters i had a vision on the what date is it i had a vision on the 23rd 23rd of may is it 23rd yes or the 23rd or 24th i'm just trying to think Either the 23rd or the 24th of April, not May, I do beg your pardon, of April, 24th or 23rd of April, 2023, very, very powerful vision. It's a warning vision, not only for me, but for the body of Christ. It's a vision of wisdom. You've got to be wise in these last days and don't be fooled by any and everything. So in this vision, it was nighttime. And I was driving, I don't know exactly where I was, I don't know which country I was in, but I was on, in Babylon, UK, we call it motorway. Uh, I think in Babylon, America, you guys call it freeway or highway or something like that. It's something similar to that I was on. But when I looked to my left and looked to my right, there were some big buildings, you know, big high-rising buildings as I was driving. So I came in the car was me, was myself and my children. My children and I was in the car, all right, my three boys. And as I was driving, I hit on traffic, some traffic in the vision. And there was a car in front of me, a red car. And the person that came out of the car, I know them because it's, it's one of the coaches that trains my son in football. So I know him, right? But I was shocked to see him because I didn't know. Because the car, did, well, I don't know what, I can't remember what car he drives. But um, I didn't know he was in front of me. But anyways, in this gridlock traffic, he came out of his car and I wind my window down. And... I, like I said to him, oh, what are you doing here? I didn't know that you was in front of me. And he said, yeah. He said, I came out the car because your plate, he said, your number plate is tilted and it needs fixing. And I said, oh, I said, I, I didn't know. So he came and uh, did this thing, whatever, kind of jiggle the number plate to get it straight. Then I said to him, thank you very much. And he went back in his car. Brothers and sisters, as soon as this guy went back in his car, I don't know where this child came from. Because remember, I'm going to call him coach, all right? Remember the coach came out of his car and he was in front of my car. So anything by the side of the car, he would have able to see what I can't see. But for some reason, he didn't see this child. But as soon as he went back in his car, the child came from the side of my vehicle, that's a passenger side, and walked right in front of the car, of my car, right? But as he was walking, this little boy, his head was straight, so I was only seeing the side of his face. Mostly. For the most part, just the side, because we're walking that way, right? So I began to wonder and ponder in my spirit a couple of things. I said, number one, the coach didn't see him. Because I'm sure if the coach saw the little boy on his own, in the middle of traffic, gridlock traffic, I'm sure he would have raised the alarm and, you know, I would come out the car and would say, whose child is this and phone police and all of that. But he, he, the child, watch this, the child hid himself from the coach and only showed up himself when the coach went back in the car. This little boy might have been no more than three. He's between two to three years old. I was thinking 18 months old. This is all young. This, the child was calling a child for now, for now, calling a child, right? 
this is all, all this child was between two to three years old no more than that a little um caucasian boy uh with jet black hair all laid down in his face right so when i saw this little baby boy i thought to myself oh no oh no i have to go and help him because he's lost middle of traffic anybody in in natural in the natural if you see a baby by themselves of course they're gonna come out of the car and try to find out what's wrong why is a child of course that's just natural that's just human instinct brothers and sisters as i was about to open me car door to come out to actually in the vision in my heart i thought to myself this is gridlock it's like nobody else saw the child because i was looking around and nobody nobody else saw it only me so as i was about to open my car to go out to help this little boy the lord began to speak to my spirit and he says, do not let evil in your car. So when I heard the voice of the Lord say that, because remember, I only saw the side of his face, right? Because he were walking, the little boy were, <laughs> the little boy were walking in front of the car. So I literally only saw the side and a little bit of his face. But then the little boy turned to face me. And brothers and sisters, listen to me. I've given vision before about black eye kids. This little boy's eye, listen, jet black. I don't even know you guys. Listen, black like that. My iPad is so dirty. <laughs> oh, no, this is not my iPad. This is my son's, <laughs> right? Um, my little boy, he drew himself, right? So it was jet black, black like that. His eyes, really and truly, brothers and sisters. Jet black. With only a tiny bit of white shown. And he had a smirk on its, on its, on its face. Because it's not human. That's why the Lord said, don't let evil into your car. It was an entity in the form of a child. And it stood, it turned, and it stood, started to stare at me with a little smirk on his face. Brothers and sisters, listen, that child, that entity's eyes is nothing but evil. No child, no childlike eyes, no puppy eyes, no, nothing at all. Wicked. The Lord said, do not let the entity do not let the evil into your car. And everything just began to feel very, very airy. Still up until this point, nobody saw the entity. I was the only one. So I, as, I, as the Lord began to speak to me, and I said, Father, nobody's seen this evil that's outside. The Lord said, no, you're the only one that can see it for now. He said, you're the only one that can see it for now because it, it's after you. That's why it's at your car. The Lord began to speak to me. He said, notice the coach. I called his name. He said, notice the coach did not see the entity. Didn't see it. Because it was hidden. Because it's not after the coach. If not, it would have gone. It would have appeared in front of the coach when the coach came to fix my number plate that was hanging off. It would have gone in the car, rather the coach would have seen the little entity, the little entity. But it hid itself because it comes for you. Because it wants to come into your car. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. But I said, don't let the evil in. The Lord spoke to me, said, do not let the evil in. Because I didn't see his eyes. I didn't see the entity's eyes. I just saw this little boy. Just a little baby just going, you know. But it's only when he turned towards me and he started to stare in the car. <laughs> God have mercy. Hmm. 
the coming all sort of shit and then the vi no the vision didn't end it right there traffic started to free up and i began to move the car because the entity it was right on my side come from remember it comes from the passenger side all the way in front of the car and now it's on it was facing me on my side so a little bit out of my way that i could move off and as i began to drive off brothers and sisters i could see the thing through my rear view and th through my side window and my rear view mirror and it spun around to look at me and it felt as if it was going to chase after me but then it jumped this is when people begin to see it now it literally jumped on top of a car and people it's like i could still hear even though it was even though i was driving away and i could hear people said oh this little boy where did he come from who is he where's his parents they don't even know it's an entity let's call the police they were saying and in the vision they did call the police and i heard the sirens coming and then the vision ended there be careful brothers and sisters i think this time in this in this dispensation that we're living in we have to learn to use wisdom we have to learn to go with the voice of the Most High. Obviously, in the vision of the Lord that said to me, yeah, it's fine, let, let the little boy in, then I would. But he said, don't let evil into your car. Because I didn't know it was evil until it turned around <laughs> and looked, looked, looking at me. Yeah, right there. Just, just stood with a smirk on his face because he wanted to come into the home, oh, my Lord. I wanted to come into the car. Baba says that he, Psalms 91, he that dwelleth, anyone, man, woman, anybody, child, human being, I'm talking, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high, what? Shall abide underneath the shadow of his wing, underneath the shadow of the Almighty. True scripture, brothers and sisters. A higher looks after his own. Even, even in your visions and dreams. It looks after you. It looks after you. I do believe that fallen angel will. Because fallen angels can shape shift. They can be a flowers. They can be anything they want to be. Because they're evil. And I do believe in the time of the end. That these beings will shape shift. Into little innocent children. And a lot of people are going to get caught unaware. They will. Now I'm going to put it down to black eye. This vision, I'm going to put it down to black eye kids. And this is the second vision, I'm, second vision, yeah, powerful vision I'm having concerning black eye children. Because I believe in the time of the end, we are going to see some hybrid kids. You know, some people think, oh, nah, I don't think so. But I do believe. I, I do believe that Satan is creating a world because he knows that. Why would the devil have a world full of, uh, why would the devil have a world full of all humans? Because he knows that if we're all humans and we're going to worship the most high, he knows. So he's going to create a world that is like him. That's why Daniel, Daniel chapter 7, verse 25, you need to read that scripture, says that, obviously it's through the Antichrist, Satan, through the Antichrist really, right, the man of sin, he will change times, laws, and seasons. So everything that we know in 2023 that is good and of good moral, that will change in time to come. And this world will be relentlessly demonic for a very, very short period of, period of time. Satan will be in full control, like full. So I believe part of the agenda is hybrid. We're going to see some things. These, some of these children will not be human. Ahaya cannot lie. Ahaya never lies. The vision is true. So it's a warning vision. 
for myself as well because I absolutely love children. But at the same time, we have in, because time is so serious, we have to learn to use wisdom. We have to learn to use wisdom. Now, in the natural, if I'm driving and I saw, and I saw, and I see a child by themselves. If the child is not in imminent danger, if it's if the child is standing by, by themselves, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sit in the car and I'm going to ring the, the police. If the Lord gives me the go ahead to go out of my car and whatever, then I'll do it. Because this vision is now teaching me to be on my P's and Q's. And I know people say, oh, well, it's a, it's a child. Da, da, da. But at the end of the day, <laughs> we're living in perilous times and the fallen angels are wicked. They shape shift. That is just the truth. They do shape and they shape shift. They love to shape shift into little ones. That's the reason why with this Halloween, this Halloween stuff, the, the, the church... The church needs to get away from it because I do believe at some point black eye kids, we'll call them black eye kids, right? Well, they really falling in Asia, really. Some of them, right? They're going to come knocking trick or, trick, trick or treat on your door. And they're going to want to come into your homes. Now, if I hear a knock on my door, and a little child turn up saying that they're lost. I don't, I'm, yeah, I'm not letting them in. No, no way. Okay, you got to let them in for them to have that power over you. If they're standing at the door, as long as you don't let them in, you're good. So you have to learn to use wisdom, brothers and sisters. You have to learn to use wisdom in this dispensation. But I wanted to come and share this powerful vision that the Lord gave me in April. This month is, uh, I don't know, this April month is, how can I put it? It's a lot of things going off in April. A lot of things going off in it. We're almost coming to the end anyways. But a lot of things go goes off in it. I know some people say April is a real new it's a real new year. That is when new year starts. Maybe true. Who knows? Because the wicked has messed about with the colic calendar, isn't it? The devil, dirty devils have messed about with our calendar. <coughs> so who knows, alright? Okay, so if I come to the end of the video, you have not accepted Yesiah as the Lord and Savior. Please say the sinner's prayer after me, dear Yesiah the Christ. I know that you're the son of Ahiah, whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, and resurrection, and that Ahiah has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you're the son of Ahiah, Yesiah, king of glory. I come before you right now, and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I've done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Ahiah, I thank you for that. I thank you for your beautiful son, Yesiah. And I pray that you'll help me to live a life of repentance and give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If I said the prayer, I believe it's your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. <clears throat> um, I believe we believe in Acts 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. If you've done that, you now need to find a man of the most high, ask him to fully baptize you, fully dunk you in water, spiritual transformation when you go down in water. You're saying that you said that on the cross and you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most high raised you out of the water, you're raised into new life, you're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection, beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with a higher, just like Enoch, and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to the most high, higher, who lives above the heavens, a higher eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon someday in glory. In your sire's holy name, amen, amen. Benediction, Jude chapter 1. Verses 24 to 25, the Bible reads, Not unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Isaiah, our Savior, 
be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.